Hey guys, we're here at the 2023 Chicago Auto Show with the all new 2024 Subaru Crosscheck. While it doesn't look much different from the previous generation, no. However, Subaru claims that this is an all new generation, has many enhancements over the current or previous generation Crosstrek. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a first look walk around of this all new 2024 Subaru Crosstrek. So I don't know all the exact specs and details of this vehicle itself, but there are many other press videos out there and they do have a full press sheet, which I'll go ahead and have linked down in the description below if you kind of want to read through it yourself. Anyways, this is the Sport trim, which is the second highest trim level in this lineup. I believe it goes base, premium, sport, and then limited is going to be the top trim. Uh, the two lower trims are gonna be available initially at launch, and then the sport, along with the limited, are gonna be available later in the model year. They chose a nice dark green exterior color for the sport with kind of gold accents, which is kind of a bold statement, I have to admit. Uh, love it or hate it type of deal. But overall, it does look nice here in this kind of nature-esque environment. You can see they do have another one sitting up there in the exact same trim. Now, starting up front of the cross check, you will find LED lighting, I do assume, LED projection daytime running lights and turn signals with LED fog lights down below. You can see a lot of the same textured black trim with the gold accents like I mentioned. Uh, not only borrowed from the new Duggar X but other Subaru models as well. You have a nice metallic grille with gloss black boomerang that kind of connects the two headlights with the Subaru logo in the center. Coming to the side you can see once again more Duggar X influence in my opinion along with the wheel arch flares and kind of the gold accents along the bottom. You can see they do have the cutouts along the back side to allow airflow from the wheel well area. These are nice kind of gunmetal gray metallic wheels. They're going to be 18 inch in size, 225, 55, 18 inch Falcon um, all season tires. So a nice decent all season. The textured plastic definitely gives it a nice unique effect. It's more angular than that of some of the other models in the past. And there is a nice sport badge to signify the trim level on the driver side and a passenger side door as well. I like the black metallic mirrors with the LED turn signal integration, heated, and do have blind spot detection, of course. Proximity entry on both front door handles. And take a look from the side here, it definitely has a nice rugged, uh, kind of athletic off-road stance with the cross rails up top. And of course, this is going to sit up a little bit higher than that of your traditional kind of compact hatchback or sedan. Now out back you will find incandescent tail lights along with more of the gold accents and textured plastics on the outside for the diffuser as well as around the corners of the C-pillar. So this does compete with vehicles in the subcompact space such as the Hyundai Kona, Kia Seltos and other manufacturers out there. So it is on the smaller side of things. However, with this Crosstrek, I think it's going to be in the larger side of the subcompact space if I had to guess based on rear seat legroom. Now stepping on the inside, you will find a lot of nice materials. This one does have uh, gray cloth inserts with gold accent stitching. So you can see the door panel has a lot of nice soft touch padding, uh, not only on the top, top section, but also on the back and the armrest as well. Power windows, mirrors, and locks with carbon fiber accent trim, uh, reminiscent of the new WRX as well. Bottle storage, power driver's seat with two-way power lumbar. And I really do like the gold accent cloth material on either side, I think that looks nice with a patterned center section. Take a look at the steering wheel, leather wrapped with the gold stitch, carbon fiber trim across the dashboard. This is mainly hard touch. There is a soft touch kind of injected molded plastic up top, uh, but otherwise not too many soft touch materials across the dashboard. You do have an analog gauge cluster with a small uh, color display in the center. Looks like you do have paddle shifters on the back of the steering wheel, automatic headlights, gauge illumination down here tilt telescopic steering column with all of your audio multimedia controls as well as your safety sense which is the latest Subaru version of EyeSight with this vehicle so that is nice to see. Of course you do have the 11.6 inch multimedia with available wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay, dual zone automatic climate control, some hard touch buttons on either side, wireless phone charger down below with USB-A and USB-C inputs. You can see the USB-C is 3.0 amps so that is one of the higher uh, amperage out there in terms of charging and of course you still have the auxiliary input which is a dying thing in new vehicles gloss black around the shifter electronic parking brake i like how they added manual buttons for the heated seats i think that is something that should have dedicated buttons in these vehicles instead of being reliant on the touchscreen controls 12 volt outlet two cup holders storage inside the armrest does not appear to slide but is soft touch manual dimming rear view mirror sos sunroof controls up top, illuminated vanity mirrors, and this is just a standard size sunroof, so on the smaller side of things, but is adequate uh, for this class of vehicle. 
Now take a look at the rear seat. It appears to be fairly spacious for the size of this overall footprint. So hard touch plastic, soft touch armrest, uh, power windows, and a little bit of bottle storage. Seats materials do fall through with the gold accents. I do want to step inside and kind of see how the overall headroom is. There's a look at the front dashboard. Out back, you will find USB-A and USB-C charging, which is nice. I would rather have that versus two USB-As uh, because C is definitely taking over uh, versus the older standard. You can see it is three amps and 2.4. Map pocket only on the passenger side. 60-40 split folding seats with center armrests. Cup holders included, they are fairly shallow, so that's a little bit of a bummer. In terms of headroom, I have about three inches or so, which is good. Plenty of legroom where the uh, driver's seat is currently set. And overall, this is a fairly spacious back seat for the overall size of the vehicle. Taking a look at the trunk space, I apologize for the audio. You can see behind these second row seats, there's quite a bit of room with LED lighting on the left side. More power on their adventures. Privacy cover. 182 horsepower, 2.5 liter Subaru Boxer engine. And beneath the floor, it looks like you do have a temporary spare tire with your roadside jack equipment. Dual function X mode with hill descent control. Manual tailgate. Able to maximize traction and control in difficult conditions. And with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, you can take harsh terrain in stride. Here's your manual four-way passenger with seat. With and capability like this, the Crosstrek is a vehicle you can trust. It's why Subaru has been named the most trusted brand for eight consecutive years, according to Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com. So I apologize, uh, the audio got really bad up there on stage where the cross check is located, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that quick walk around. Um, I don't know all the specs, like I said, but they will be down in the link in the description if you guys want to check out and learn some more about the new Subaru Crosstrek. I know it has two engine options available, safety systems. Of course, you do have the wireless engine auto, wireless Apple CarPlay, and does come in four different trim levels. So let me know what you think of the Crosstrek down in the comment section below. I'm definitely interested in seeing how you like that versus some of the competitors on the market. Of course, make sure to check out some of the coverage I have here at the 2023 Chicago Auto Show, including the new 2023 WRX as well. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are not already subscribed. And as always, hope to see you guys in the next one. Hey, they're watering them. They're watering them. <laughs>